Here's the field for the Rebel of 2024. Number one is Carbone, owned by William and Corrine Heligbrot and Flurry Racing Stables, trained by Steve Asmussen, Isaac Castillo in the saddle. Number two is Northern Flame, owned by Jack Oxley, Harold Lerner, AWC Stables and Magdalena Racing, Julia Leperu rides for trainer Kenny McPeak. Number three, the second Kenny McPeak entrant, Common Defense, owned by David Burns at T. Holmes, M. Holmes, and Norvale Farm. Brian Hernandez Jr. set to ride. Number four, Williamson Racing's Tejon Pass. Chris Landeros teams up with trainer Peter Biller. Number five, Magic Grant and jockey Harry Hernandez. Eddie Milligan Jr. trains for owners Willis Horton Racing. Number six is Dymatic, owned by Winchell Thoroughbreds, Tyler Gaffleyone riding, Steve Asmus in your conditioner. Number seven, Windstar Farm LLC's Timberlake, trained by Brad Cox, Christian Torres riding for the first time today. Number eight, Next Level, and jockey Jose Raquelme. Keith DeSormo trains for Don't Tell My Wife Stables, Kirkland, Godby and Partners. Number nine, Lagados, owned by His Royal Highness, Prince Sultan bin Bishal Al Saud, the third Steve Aspison entrant in the race, Keith Aspison, looking for a stakes double today. Number 10, Mina, owned by George Sharp. Francisco Arietta has the call for trainer Steve Hobby. Number 11 is Jess Steele, owned by BC Stables LLC. Dwayne Lucas, your trainer. Ramon Vasquez, your rider, retains the bout. And rounding out the field is number 12, Woodcourt, owned by Contreras Stable Incorporated, also trained by Cipriano Contreras with Manny Esquivel. That's the field for race 11, ladies and gentlemen. This is the $1,250,000 Rebel Stakes. The runners to go a mile and a 16th, three minutes to post. And uh, they're off in the Rebel Stakes of 2024. From the far outside, Woodcourt put into play early. Carbone up on the pace. Northern Flame has natural speed as well. Carbone, the pacemaker from Northern Flame. And Woodcourt, who's three wide, charging into the turn. The favorite, Timberlake, placed in a perfect position by Christian Torres. Right off the speed stocking today, he's racing alongside of Lagados and Mina, who's down on the inside. Combat defense, four lengths behind in midfield. A length and a half to just steal on a hold. Dymatic alongside of him. Tajon Pass is third last, a length clear of Magic Grant in a space of four to next level, who's at the back of the pack. They're down the back stretch, and Carbone is paving the way. One of three runners trained by Steve Aspison in this race. Carbone about a length in front. Northern Flame backs off just a little bit in second. Woodcourt is three deep. Common defense down on the inside. He's two lengths off the pace, a length to Timberlake. He's now fifth with Mina. Dymatic, Lagados, Jess Steele. Those three line up. There's seven from the top into the far turn run, a gap of two to Magic Grant, passing to Hone Pass, who's dropping back, and the trailer still next level well behind as they round the far turn. Carbone, three furlongs to go, a half length in front here. Northern Flame turning up the pressure. Woodcourt is three wide. There goes Timberlake and the wind star white. He's caught about four wide off the turn. Just Steele going to be deep at the top of the lane. He's five wide off the turn, and Common Defense trying to slip through down at the rail. He's going to find the narrowest of openings. Timberlake Lake on the outside, roars to the front. Common Defense trying to pull off the upset. And Northern Flame, Timberlake drifting to the center of the track. But he's clear, coming on Common Defense. But Timberlake's going to do it. And Timberlake and Christian Torres win the Rebel by two in a nice effort to kick off his three-year-old season. Common Defense was second. Northern Flame third. Photo for fourth. And now entering the winner's circle, the winner of the 2024 Rebel Stakes, $1,250,000 point purse is number seven, Timberlake. Timberlake is a three-year-old Bay Colt by Into Mischief out of pinup by looking at Lucky. Timberlake was bred in Kentucky by St. Elias Stables LLC, now owned by Windstar Farm LLC and trained by Brad Cox, Christian Torres, your winning jockey.
And ladies and gentlemen, now in the winner's circle with winning jockey Christian Torres, Elliot Walden and partners for Windstar Farm and the Winning Connections presenting the stakes trophy for the Rebel Stakes of 2024, Charles J. Sella in the winner's circle with the Winning Connections. Congratulations to Timberlake and all concerned with this team. Winning jockey Christian Torres in full Rebel regalia as he gave Timberlake Brad Cox's first victory in the Rebel. Christian, a phenomenal ride. This one campaigned by Windstar Farm. Now, Brad was very confident coming into this race. What was your confidence level warming up? Um, when I saw the, the horse um, in the post parade, he was very, uh, he was calmed down. And he wasn't, you know, trying to be tough or nothing. He warmed up really nice. So that gave me more confidence into the race because um, I watched the races and he's sometimes he's a little keen during the race and I wanted to be in the gate as calm as possible. He was the first one getting into the gate and when he stood there, he was just focused and he was, he was ready to run today. Well, he came in a grade winner, now a multiple graded stakes winner, 50 additional points towards the starting gate in the Kentucky Derby. He might have to get used to this floral wreath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this is the races, you know, you, every jockey wants to win. And um, just to be here, I'm more than blessed. You know, every everyone wants to get a flowers on their neck, and I'm, <laughs> I'm very blessed to get them today. Well, congratulations. Job well done. Christian Torres victorious as he gives Timberlake his sexy back.